Shield looks stable. Counting down to antimatter injection. Maybe this will be the one. Sorry, I can't be there, Alice. Hey, one of us had to go to that boring conference halfway around the world. Better you than me, Galloway. Containment field? Warning. Containment field compromised. <sighs> yep. Let it go, Alice. You can start over tomorrow. I'm not losing a whole month's worth of work again, Cal. I can stabilize the reactor from the inside. Identification verified. Professor Alice Lundgren. Authorized entry code. Professor Alice Lundgren. You know what kind of implosion antimatter can cause. Yeah, and that's exactly why we have it inside a containment vault. The reaction goes boom and we start over. But not this time. Oh, come on. Come on. Stabilize. Come on. Just... No, 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 no. Automatic lockdown protocol commencing. Alex, get out of there. In three. Two. No! One. Okay. We have a problem. Yes, of course, Madam Prime Minister. I'm happy to help. Mm-hmm. See you then. Change of plan, Belady? We'll be skipping the gallery opening tonight. The Prime Minister has requested I make an appearance at her charity gala instead. Who? Oh, joy! Did the PM say anything about setting a hub escort? Um, no. I didn't think so. It's the Global Defence Force. I lose them. Don't you worry. Parker, they're the good guys. And so are we. Oh, right you are. <laughs> Sorry, Belady. <laughs> Hold up, it's you do. <clears throat> is there a problem, officer? We have a bit of a situation, Lady Penelope. A specialist is required immediately. Certainly. I'm always at the GDF's disposal. Lead the way. Actually, Lady Penelope, it's not you we need. It's Parker. Parker? Me? Okay, what you're looking at... Dual chambers, reinforced terrillium outer shell, biometric scanners, independent power source... When it comes to this, I'm quite the expert, man. I, however, am not. It's a state-of-the-art containment vault. Scientists at Hudson University are using one for their antimatter research. At the moment, one of them is stuck inside. And what does any of this have to do with Parker? We need him to open it. Apparently, Parker is the only person to have ever successfully broken into this kind of vault. Parker? Allegedly broken in, milady. There was never any proof. <laughs> Colonel Casey from the GDF. I've brought an expert who'll have you out of there as soon as possible. Hello, I'm the expert. I'm so embarrassed. My colleagues will never let me hear the end of it when they get back. Forgive me for asking, but isn't there a way for you to open the vault from the inside? As long as the containment field is compromised, no one can open it. Not even me. What is it containing? Okay, do either of you have a degree in biomolecular quantum mechanics? No. In that case, just picture a potato in a microwave. Only the potato is me. And if this vault is damaged in any way, everyone outside gets cooked as well. The trick is opening the vault without the vault realizing it's been opened. How long will it take? Last time, 
it was a hair under six hours. Allegedly. The containment field's only gonna last another three, at most. Nothing like a challenge. One slight hitch. I'm going to require some highly specialized equipment to do this job. The GDF has access to the most sophisticated technology in the world. Who oh, do? No. I'm going to need my own technology. But it's back at the manor. Leave that to us. your technology? It's everything I need. Ice pick, chalk, car mirror, staples, rubber band, chewing gum, magnets. We could have gotten these things anywhere. First of all, babe, it's my lucky kit. Second, no, you can't get these things anywhere. They don't even make this flavour of gum anymore. We have a slight problem, Belady. Seems they fixed the defect that allowed me to break into this kind of vault before. Allegedly. But you can still open it. Oh, I could open it. It's closing it back up again that would be impossible. Meaning? Meaning if Parker opens the vault to save me, we can't reseal it to contain the antimatter implosion. That would destroy this lab, the university, and half the city. <sighs> what have I done? Scott, we have a scientist here trapped in a vault. I have a plasma cutter on board Thunderbird 1. It's odd to really a Mr. Scott, sir. It would take you 10 hours minimum. And that's just to get through the containment vault's outer shell. All right. Sounds like we have a situation. Let's face it. I'm stuck here. Unacceptable. We're going to get you out of there, and that's a promise. You know we can't damage the vault, Colonel. I'm not going to put thousands of lives at risk just to save mine. You won't have to. Parker will still break into the vault. International Rescue will make sure no one is hurt in the implosion. And how exactly do you plan to do that? Easy, we move the vault. There's an abandoned mine shaft south of your location which should help to contain the implosion. We'll just cut it free, drop it off, and let the antimatter do its thing. Do you have any idea how much this vault weighs? You'd need something incredibly powerful to lift it. Oh, don't worry. I've got that part covered. It's nice to know Parker's not the only expert on the case. in cracking this thing is to stop the outer vault controls from talking to the inner vault controls. Because we need the outer vault to think it's business as usual. Right you are, m'lady. Now, if we could just find some kind of sonic amplifier to distract the signal receiver. Like your communicator. Oh, brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? By driving music. Well, it certainly is distracting. Okay, give me the rundown. This is a schematic of the facility. The containment vault is located dead center. We'll have to peel back a large section of the roof first. But a hole of that size could make it unstable. Removing the vault is our priority, Virgil, not the structural integrity of the building. Understood, Colonel. If we cut here, here, and here at the base, we'll be able to lift the whole thing out. I'll let you know when the GDF has safely evacuated the entire facility. Good luck. 
Thunderbird 2. I'll jet down and take a look at that roof. I always thought cracking vaults involved, you know, I don't know, a vault? First things first, my lady. Aha! A bottle of water. It's not what's hidden, it's what's on it. Professor Lundgren's fingerprints, of course. Well done. Hold oh, that thought. We haven't pulled it off quite yet. Chew, my lady. Chew, Parker? Everyone out! This move, people! Clear the building! Thunderbird 2, facility evacuation is complete. You have official mission clearance. Remove the roof. That may be. Scott, almost there. Just a few more cuts. I'm still amazed you were able to lift Professor Lundgren's fingerprints with chewing gum. I used this trick at a bank in Kowloon once. Allegedly. Identification verified. Professor Alice Lundgren. Oh. Quick, enter the code and get me out of here. 3009-1965. Wait, the touchpad is biometrically keyed. Authorized entry code, Professor Alice Lundgren. Are you sure you've never been in the safe cracking business, m'lady? Colonel Casey, we're through the outer vault. There. Thunderbird 2, where's that grapple? Coming down now. <laughs> grapple secure. Take her away. Crossbeam is jammed. I see it. It's got to be recut. This roof is like a loaded spring. Be careful, Scott. Just happen actually happen. You mean did the how to doors just slam shut, trapping us inside? I'm afraid so, my lady. Well, that's rather distressing. The inner vault is still secure, Colonel. It will contain the antimatter when it implodes. Leave me in here. It's the only option. If I've learned anything from International Rescue Professor, it's that there's never an only option. My thoughts exactly, Colonel. We're getting this vault out of the city, and we're getting you out of that vault. All of you. Well, Parker? It'll be close, but we could do it. Only the inner vault can contain the implosion. Once you open it, no one will be safe. One problem at a time, Professor. these vaults, they always assumed anyone who tried to break in would take the air-tech approach. Never counted on a good, old-fashioned bump and twist. Hex marks the spot, m'lady. I see. I sure hope you're as good at breaking out of vaults as you are at breaking in. So do I, Professor. We're almost there, Thunderbird 2. Stand by for liftoff. FAB. We have about 12 minutes before we lose the containment field. Nothing can stop the implosion after that. Plenty of time, I hope. 12 minutes, Virgil. All right, hold on. We're lifting off. FAB. Thunderbird 
number two. Easy. Hold on. Stabilizing. You're clear. Keep going. Reminds me of my seafaring days. You were a sailor, too? Pirate, man. Back when I was on the wrong side of the law. I'm not proud of my past, you know. That was a long time ago, Parker. Your father gave me a second chance away from a life of crime, and he trusted me to protect his most valuable possession. You, m'lady. You've always lived up to his trust in you, Parker. Even now? Especially now. Now get cracking. This came off my very first car, a 29 Boxley Comet. What a beaut. You've rerouted the biometric scanner to the inside. But the haggle is all wrong. Hold on. How's that? It's perfect. Your end, Professor. Identification verified. Professor Alice Lundgren. Scott? Can you hear me? I'm right outside, Lady Penelope. Good. I need you to enter some numbers into the keypad. And use the gum. What's her time, Professor? We have less than a minute before this thing implodes. Virgil, set her down. We have less than a minute. Hold on. We're almost at the mineshaft. There's the ledge. Jump! <laughs> Lost two magnets. The reaction must have polarized them. Get out of there, Scott! Oh, dear. I forgot my lucky kit. Oh, who's a good dog? Why so gloomy, Parker? Today's rescue wouldn't have been possible without you and your alleged talents. Sorry, Belady. Just having a bit of trouble letting go, that's all. That kit saw me through thick and thin. And they really don't make that gum anymore. Well, look on the bright side. We ended up having to miss the Prime Minister's charity ball this evening. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I knew you would be. The PM sent her regards and she sent this. My favourite gum. It's the Prime Minister's favourite too. She's got a personal stockpile. So anytime you want... You're welcome to it. Perhaps it's not too late to put in an appearance at her event tonight. I'll bring the car round, my lady.